Hi everybody, my name is Mark Barlow. Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. Today we're going to be going through Proverbs 16.2. And that says, in the Amplified Version, All the ways of a man are clean and innocent in his own eyes, and he may see nothing wrong with his actions. But the Lord weighs and examines the motives and intents of the heart and knows the truth. Wow. So, the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of this verse is that when I've had to make big life decisions and um, pray through things and get counsel on things um, in regards to where I would go with my life, um, I think of the fact that I so often would go to other people first before consulting with the Lord and before really placing my heart into a place of submission to Him. And when I think of that, I there is... Um, bits of regret in my heart because I know that God is jealous of that place to be the first person that we go to. He wants to be the friend that sticks closer than a brother. And I, I realize that in a lot of my life decisions and the, the choices that I've made, um, oftentimes I had set my heart in a specific direction and even started talking with people in that direction. And so I would receive wisdom from people but it wasn't directly from him first. And the wisdom that I received from them was also pointed in the direction that I was speaking out with my mouth. Because, you know, the, the word also says, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so because I had set my heart and my intent in a specific direction, my heart wasn't submitted to the Lord in those decisions. And so in a sense, my heart was already made up. My mind was already made up. Um, and in my mind and in my eyes, I thought that by getting godly counsel, I was doing exactly what the Lord wanted me to do. Um, and yes, there's a place for that and a time for that. However, when Jesus isn't the first person that we go to for wisdom and for direction with open hands, he, he is really jealous of that place. And we could end up making, um, decisions that either can, halter our, um, the course of our life, or they can, um, prolong, um, seasons of <laughs> intensive learning, I guess would be a, uh, would be a more positive way of, of saying it. Some call it the valley of the shadow of death, but, um, yeah, I believe that our decisions and our choices are so important in regards to how long we are in the valley and in, in seasons of heaviness and and times of trial. Um, but when we really go to the Lord and, and ask him where he would have us go, I believe that we are on the fast track to um, true wholeness and into stepping into what he has for our lives. Um, and the, the end part of that verse, it says, the Lord weighs and examines the motives and intents of the heart, and he knows the truth. Um, and that just speaks volumes to um, the fact that regardless of where, what decisions you make, um, the Lord really does know your heart. So, so know that in, in surrendering situations to him, that he is so for you and that he is all about, um, making sure that he shows you his faithfulness in full. Um, so yeah, bless you guys. Um, Jesus, thank you so much for everybody who's listening to this. I just ask that you would yield their hearts to you and that they would willingly submit their hearts to you um, in all the decisions that they make, um, the little ones and the big ones. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.